Hello everybody and welcome back to AOR Season 16 here for round number 5, the Spanish Grand Prix. And just like Baku as well, this race actually took place quite a while ago so apologies if my commentary is a little bit rusty but joining the action straight away here in qualifying and before this race I actually did a pretty decent amount of practice I believe and my pace was pretty decent in the race but because you have to qualify on the harder compound which is the soft tyres around here that's an aspect which I really struggle with, qualifying on the harder compound and it was the same here today and you can see in this qualifying session I'm yet to set a valid time obviously because you only have one set of soft tyres for the qualifying session so it's all or nothing here on this lap and it's not the greatest start to the lap immediately because you would have seen there around turn number one Tim Palm came out of the pits at the worst possible moment and it's always so frustrating when you see a car coming out of the pits on your flying lap um, when you have to yeah, have a, you have to have a good lap and you see a car just in front of you into turn number one it's always a little bit frustrating but he did get out of the way uh, which is fair enough but we lost a little bit of time because it did put me off but you can also see here you might be able to see down the straight here that my wheel is sort of wiggling a little bit from side to side and that's because I have this really weird glitch on this game which I've I now know what it's caused by but basically the game thinks sometimes when I'm using the wheel that I'm also using a, a, a um, controller at the same time so the force feedback goes absolutely crazy and yeah it's just undrivable with it but you can see here it's bearable even though we do have it a little bit and it's sort of vibrating my wheel down the straight a little bit which yeah is going to be difficult to drive with here today but it shouldn't really lose us any pace but crossing the line there with a 16.7 on the soft tyres which is only good enough for P12 on the grid we were just over I think we were just under four tenths of a second off Epic Gamers pole time but I couldn't really find any more time to be honest to be able to get into the top 10 but qualifying outside the top 10 gives us the opportunity to start this race on the medium tyres and that's what we're going to do so despite being outside the top 10 we're in a fairly decent position here as the lights go out and away we go Yano is also on the medium tyres and I believe Deagle is a couple of positions behind as well so we need a pretty decent start here already going side by side with Yano towards turn number one and we go up the inside there but we have to be a little bit cautious and that's allowed Curly to go around the outside and he actually makes a little bit of a mistake there around turn number two I had to avoid that, I actually thought he was going to spin straight into me there but we were lucky not to be involved in any kind of contact but we remain in P12 here as heading towards turn number four on lap one as there's a little bit of contact there around the outside and we've managed to gain two positions out of that going around the outside of Tim Palm into turn number five and hopefully you can stay in front of him he's on the soft tyres because he qualified inside the top ten and you can see now into this quick chicane and Tim Palm actually manages to get back up the inside there and we had to yield there we had to let him go but we're on the medium tyres and I believe at this track you had super soft soft and medium and the super softs you just basically yeah you shouldn't qualify on them or use them for the first stint because yeah they were just really bad with tyre wear so it was either softs or mediums like I'm using now and you can see Yano's actually been pushed off there by Alex for some reason Alex just shoved him off the road so that's put us now up into P10 but yeah as I was saying on the medium tyres so we're on the harder compound we should be able to extend our stint by quite a way so already in the top 10 and I believe we're first out of the medium runners as well so we're actually in a pretty decent position here to extend the stint and hopefully get a decent result and at this stage I was still hoping maybe I can get a podium it'll be a long stretch but so far the start's been pretty good and I know my race pace is always better than my qualifying pace so being on the medium tyres as well maybe we can get a good result but hopefully we won't be held up too much by the cars in front already Tim Palm and Alex are starting to battle which is probably going to lose us time unless we can get through I felt like if I can get past these two maybe I can catch and stick with the cars in front which will mean we're in a very very good position to maybe even fight for a, uh, a win maybe if we can get through on them but already getting a warning there for exceeding track limits and from what I remember track limits around here was really inconsistent and it was yeah really difficult to not get any penalties because if you ran the slightest bit wide and you would lose time it would actually give you a warning which yeah it was it was difficult not to get any penalties in this race but you can see already going for a move on Alex on the soft tyres we're going to go around the outside of turn number one on him we're going to try and make this move stick but he's managed to hold it around the outside there and we have to settle for P10 at this stage but still in a good position although I did want to clear these guys in front because I felt like my pace was starting to get 
better than the well some of the people on soft tyres especially Alex in front I really wanted to try and get through on him and we're struggling to do that at this stage and I believe that's Williams Nervo in front of Tim Palm and I think Williams Nervo was actually on the super soft tyres for some reason I don't know why he chose to go on those tyres and I would have expected him to be a lot quicker this season but he hasn't and we're actually going to go around the outside here of Nervo into turn number one and we make that stick now for P9 so we've managed to get through and that was a pretty nice move there on Nervo but he's not really a contender in this race I don't know why he decided to go on super soft tyres as I said but yeah we're now through into P9 and hopefully we can clear Alex in front and maybe even Tim Palm as well but you can see now moving on to lap 6 once again Alex and Tim Palm are starting to battle in front Alex goes down the inside of Tim Palm, they make a little bit of contact there and hopefully we can try and gain from this as we go round the outside there of Alex who decides to turn left into a right hander for some reason and makes contact with us um, on the entry of that corner so that was a little bit rude from him and yeah we, we didn't get any damage from that luckily but it prevented us from an opportunity to try and go for a move but we're going to look to the outside here of Alex into turn 5 as these two continue to battle but he pushed us a little bit wide and for some reason the game's given me a warning for exceeding track limits for that when really I had nowhere to go and that was my third warning which means I've already got a penalty in this race which is yeah not great considering it's only lap 6 but I knew other people were going to be in the same situation with penalties because it's so difficult around here not to get any penalties as once again here on lap 7 we've got an opportunity to try and make a move here on Alex as we look to the inside here of this hairpin and not quite able to make the move we make a little bit of contact there but yeah I'm starting to get a little bit frustrated here behind Alex um, because I know I've got better pace than him and I wanted to get through but my wing settings as well uh, it, with my setup weren't really ideal for overtaking it was really good in terms of actual race pace but it's making it difficult here to overtake my straight line speed wasn't fantastic and you can see here with ERS and overtake slipstream DRS and everything I'm not gaining on Alex really at all. Um, obviously he's got DRS as well from Tim Palm, but yeah, it's difficult to get through at this stage and my straight line speed wasn't ideal for this situation where we're trying to get through. So gradually I was becoming more and more frustrated and I really wanted to get past him, but I'm still in a decent position at this stage to probably fight for at least a top five finish, which would be a decent result and good damage limitation once again, but I was trying to aim for a bit better than that and if we can clear these two in front we should be able to be in the fight for a good uh, finish here today especially with our superior pace in the final stint as well being on the soft tyres but you can see heading towards this right hander here I've taken a little bit too much kerb and I've lost the rear and I'm actually in the gravel and that's lost me one, two and now three positions here to Deagle, Curly and Yano as well so that was my own error I, I just lost the rear there around that corner which is going to cost me because now I've got Yano who's also on the medium tyres who I believe my pace was probably better than his and Curly's on the softs and Deagle who was behind me is on the medium tyres as well so yeah there's more people to try and overtake and that's going to make our life even more difficult because now we're at the back of the group and we're going to lose, well we're not at the back of the group, we're in the middle of the group and we're probably going to lose quite a bit of time. Uh, so yeah that's a frustrating mistake and that's going to cost us in this race I believe as now into turn one we are desperate to get past Diano once again you can see I actually looked to the inside here of turn number three which is not really an overtaking place but the desperation was starting to creep in and I wanted to get through and you can see Deagle has actually made a move on Alex there in front so he's starting to get through the traffic which is what I wanted to do when I was in his situation as we've actually hit the back of Yano there because we've got so much more corner speed than he has um, but because we've got so much more corner speed we've got less straight line speed which is making it difficult to overtake him in the in the straights as well and also the fact that he has DRS from the cars in front as well makes it even more difficult to overtake but you can see once again on this lap I've got it in hot lap ERS this time and I've got fuel and rich DRS open but I haven't gained a single meter on him really and yeah that is yeah, it's so frustrating when you're in this situation you know you're quicker but you just can't get through and it's yeah as I said just so frustrating and I know my pace is probably if I didn't qualify in 12th I think I could have stuck with the leading group um, but yeah I've got to improve my qualifying really this season it hasn't been amazing and also qualifying on the harder compound as I said at the start of the video yeah I'm just struggling with that aspect of it and 
basically I've got to try and improve because quite often on this game you have to qualify on the harder compound because that's the best thing to do for the race and yeah because of that I've got to improve but it's a little bit weird how you have to qualify on the harder compound sometimes because in real life F1 they never have to do that so it should be more realistic in the game to not have to do that either but that's the way it is so we've all got to put up with it but you can see now I'm right behind Curly, and in fact I'm going to go down inside here of turn number 5 for P6 but I believe some people have pitted but we managed to make the move stick that was a pretty nice move there and I knew because I couldn't overtake into turn 1 I've got to try somewhere else so I managed to get through there on Curly into P6 and we should be able to catch Yano once again pretty quickly um, and you can see I actually got DRS there as well but now moving on to lap 14 set a personal best lap of the race now I had a bit of clean there but once again we've now caught up to Yano and we're in slipstream DRS open fuel and overtake uh, sorry ERS and overtake fuel and rich but once again just could not make the move stick and once again I'm going down the inside of turn three just trying everything to get through there I think that time Yano was running uh, quite low ERS mode so I was able to mount a challenge uh, towards him but still going side by side with him round turn number four there as I lose the rear and I'm not able to get through once again but now we're in P3 because the majority of people have pitted or the majority of people who qualified I think actually everyone who qualified inside the top 10 has pitted at this stage so I think it's just Deagle, uh, Yano and myself who are the top three and then we've got Kaz behind also on medium tyres um, but still unable to get through and we've actually hit him there into the chicane like we did earlier and he actually braked very early for that corner so yeah it was pretty difficult to avoid him there but that's now given us a good opportunity to try and get through down the straight now so we've got quite a bit of ERS he goes defensive this time but we're going to the outside here and this time we have a lot more speed than him towards turn number one we've managed to get through around the outside of turn one and I knew now we've got to try and pull away from him so we don't end up in the same situation but you can see since I made that mistake at I think it's turn nine the fast right hander you can see now how far ahead Deagle is he's 4.5 seconds ahead and yeah, that's quite a bit of time considering we were in front of him earlier on in the race so we got to try and catch that up but you can see at the end of this lap we actually made a bit of a mistake there out, the fi out of the uh, final chicane and that's affected our run onto the pit straight and now Yano is catching us in the straight and you can just see the amount of overspeed he has compared to me and he's able to go for a move into turn number one and we weren't able to pull away Yano goes through on us round the outside he does the move we did to him on the last lap and he gets through back up into P2 so we're back into the situation we were before um, which is pretty much worst case scenario for me because I feel my pace is better, better than his but he was very keen on trying to fight me for this position which is fair enough but once again looking down the inside of turn 5 trying something different now because we're getting quite desperate to get through on Yano but still we're not able to do it but as I said yeah he's getting he's fighting this position very hard when I think for both of us it would be better to just like work together and see where we come out after the pit stops compared to the guys and softs but yeah we lost quite a bit of time there when I felt I was quicker but Yano pits on that lap and I think we're going to continue for at least a few more laps before we pit so we're going to try and do the overcut on him I think he pitted quite a bit early well quite a bit more early than I thought but you can see now moving on to lap 21 Epic Gamer went through I didn't really fight him too hard because obviously we're not racing him unfortunately today and he's currently currently in the lead um, so yeah there was no point in fighting him too hard but on this lap I've actually managed to stick uh, stick with him considering the fact he has got so much fresher medium tyres which shows that I had decent race pace and pace that I think would have been good enough to fight the leaders if I managed to have a better qualifying but unfortunately that was not the case but into the pits we go now onto the soft tyres and 11 laps on the soft tyres is obviously very easy to do and we're going to have quite a bit more pace compared to other people around us it depends where we come out but it is also expected once again to rain at the end of the race like it did at China and Baku as well which is yeah a little bit weird considering we've had that three races in a row where it starts off dry and then in the final few laps it rains which is yeah I don't understand why that keeps happening with the dynamic weather system but it does so I'm not complaining really because I got good pace in the wet anyway but we've come out in P11 you can see there I've cut the chicane and I've picked up another warning and that well I think I actually picked up two warnings in that one corner which is not great and I've picked up another penalty so yeah I think that's six seconds now of penalties which 
isn't really surprising around here but I was trying my best not to get penalties but it's so difficult when you're in a league racing situation and you're pushing so hard it's so easy to just put all four wheels over a white line here and there and get a warning but now we're right up behind Curly, who's on the medium tyres and then it's Army Danny MG in front of him as well who is also on the medium tyres so we should be able to clear these guys pretty quickly so heading out the final corner we should be able to clear Curly by turn number one so we on Rich ERS and overtake once again but you can see we haven't really got the straight line speed so we're going to have to go for a move on the brakes into turn number one and that's what I'm going to try and do so up the inside brake a little bit later than he does and we managed to get through into turn number one into P10 which is not where I want to be maybe we can catch Alex who I think is in P7 um, oh no sorry P8 but we've got Danny in front now here starting lap 26 and this is going to be a nice easy move down the pit straight and as I said next up is Alex in P8 and he's also on the medium tyres so we should be able to catch him pretty quickly as well considering our tyres are fresher and softer so we're in a good situation in terms of pace but coming into this race this Spanish Grand Prix I did think I'd have the pace to fight for a win so to be fighting for 8th place is quite disappointing to be honest and it's not where I want to be but in difficult races like this you still got to try and pick up the points here and there and that's what I'm doing so I'm going for 8th place just like we had at Baku um, maybe we can catch the guys in front of him I think in front of Alex we have Michael and then after that I think Deagle and then we got to look at how penalties affect things but I think the most realistic place we're going to finish is P8 which isn't great but still it's a few points which is good for the championship and you can see I've absolutely sent it there up the inside of Alex into turn number 5 and we're just about going to make the move that was the same move I made on Curly um, earlier on in the race as well so up into P8 now and that's job done and you can see by the skies that it's going to probably rain within the next lap or so which should help me maybe catch the cars in front a little bit more than what I thought but you can see onto lap 33 now Michael's not too far in front so we've caught him quite a bit but it's too late now to catch him because we're about to head into the final sector of the final lap so you can't really do anything and having six seconds worth of time penalties as well I think is yeah it means I'm pretty much going to be in P8 and you can see the gap to Alex is 5.5 seconds so I was trying to get that over six seconds as well considering the penalties I have and I can't imagine the guys in front having nine seconds worth of penalties and I think in front of in front of Michael it's actually Tim Palm even though I said Deagle earlier but it's actually Tim Palm and uh, I think Deagle actually finished P2 which is a little bit frustrating considering I was ahead of him in the first stint on the medium tyres but anyway across the line we finish in P8 which is not a great result but still it's a few points for the championship which is yeah that's better than nothing but still not great considering how we start the season with a couple of podiums hopefully next up in at, uh, at Monaco I can have another good result that's definitely the target but thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed leave a like if you did subscribe to the channel if you're new and I will see you for round number six the Monaco Grand Prix goodbye